Welcome back to Chow Time Pod, it's your host Red. I got a video today from a different perspective. After 51 years of marriage, this judge learns his children aren't his. Whew. Welcome back to Chow Time Pod, it's your host Red. I just found this video, man, I couldn't even finish watching it because I got so many thoughts and opinions that I got to share with you all. But this man has been married for 51 years. He's a judge. And he just found out that his two sons, 40 and 42 years old, aren't even his. Boy, if his wife is still alive, I sure hope that he sue that woman and be the judge in the case. <laughs> that ain't going to be allowed, but. I have been married for 51 years, got two sons, 42 and 40, them deadbeats. Dead I'm still supporting the little boogers. Oh. Needed to take a test to see if any of us had a kidney good enough for my brother. Found out something interesting. They ain't my kids. There's somebody else's. <laughs> of course, the only good thing is, I know it's not my fault that those two idiots got dumped into this world. Hell, I thought they took after their mother. <laughs> you couldn't have been more right, because uh, they ain't got none of you in them. Instead, they take after the plumber or the... Postman or the milkman or mm. yeah, they were milkman back when they came around. Bro, could you imagine you out earning an honest living? You got a stay-at-home wife. While you're out, she's getting piped down by the plumber <laughs> and the mailman and the cable man raw. Popped out two kids on you that ain't yours as one of theirs. It made you raise them. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I mean, God mm. only knows. God only knows. Phew. <laughs> Bless you. It sure gets old. I do wish I knew who the real fathers were. <laughs> and they ain't the same. She was bopping a couple of different guys. Oh, no, he didn't say she was bopping around. <laughs> She was out here in these streets, bro. Old lady in these streets back in She's the day. She's one of those roots. But if I could figure out who they were, I've been practicing long, law long enough that I pretty well figure I could sue their ass and get all my money back. I know that's right. Into those two dead beats. I know that's right. Get every penny back. Woo! You just... Wow. Chaps my ass. Hey, yo, yo, hey, I haven't I heard, heard that heard term in a long say time. That in forever, chaps my ass. <laughs> Tell me. I literally have only heard this from older white people and this older white gentleman. <laughs> I'd probably forgiven her. Maybe not. I, I wouldn't. Yeah. I would not forgive that woman. I don't know. There's nothing in the world. You know how it is. Yeah, you know, boys. Y'all need to go get your own paternity test. Listen. You can't tell how by looking uh -uh. who's the daddy. Not Unless always. You're looking down at the genetic level. That's right. I've been in court thousands of times in paternity suits. And four out of five times, guy says he ain't the daddy, he's right. There you go. Did he just say four out of five times? Did you guys hear the gentleman correctly? The Sir Judge Ship right here said four out of five times they are not the father. Toss that 30% out the window. We're looking at an 80% range now. You heard him, the judge. He just told you. Thousands of cases of paternity tests. He said four out of five times the man is not the father. Woo -wee! I knew it was a big number. Trust me, I knew it was a big number. 
Eighty <laughs> percent. Oh shit, man! I can't do anything but laugh because the the number is just outrageous. <laughs> that is completely outrageous, guys. Eighty percent of kids out there are being raised by not their fathers, or being paid child support by not their fathers. Oh yeah, the system's corrupt. That's too much. Four out of five, not half. Four out of five. <laughs> Shit, that's crazy. Man, these women really be getting around like this? And the genetic test, the only way to prove it for sure. These women are humping everything that looks fun. <laughs> He said these women are humping everything that looks fun. Man, I don't like this. This don't sound this don't sound good. For a man that wants a family and a two parent household raising the children together, I, uh, choose wisely. Uh, I well, agree. Choose wisely. Cause this don't sound That's why I always push for passports. You know, I don't push shit on my channel. I'll tell you guys to do anything. But I always push passport, bros. It's the best option. I, I really, as a smarter than the average bear man, I really cannot think of any other options that is better than being a passport, bro. Like as much as I've like the past four, five, four years now after my divorce of me going dating women, thinking of every possible scenario. It's passports. This sound good at all. I hate this is not music to my ears. I really hate the way this sounds. Looks fun. You thought you like sex. <laughs> you ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess that pretty well completes that story. I'll go home. He's he's devastated. Start drafting up some divorce papers. Oh, so the wife is still around. No. Hey, they do say women typically, on average, outlive the man. But dang, she I was about to say she ain't already in the grave. You might want to <laughs> just play. Wow. Hey, think about that. Fifty one years. Age, you know he's over the age of seventy. Fuck. He's about to dang on. Divorce. I don't even expect to live 51 years. Like, oh my god. That's, that is a tremendous amount of time with someone that cheated on you and lied to you that whole time. His wife, because she's been lying to him for the entire 51 years of their marriage. Why? I'm going to say it. Lying sack of whore. See if I can't get free of that crazy bitch. Hey. hey. I mean, I stayed with her for the sake of the children. Oh. He stayed with her for the sake of the children. And they and aren't even his. I reminded me of a video I was watching earlier today where a divorce lawyer, I think it was, he was talking about the percentage of relationships that end in divorce, 56%. And then you got to think about the percentage of people who are staying in their marriage just for the sake of the children. So really, the percentage of relationships that are unhappy is probably over 75%. <sighs> He said he stayed with her for the sake of the children. Man, if he only knew. If he only knew. He didn't even have to do that. And some of y'all might be mad at me for saying that, but think about this. You can leave the woman. Don't mean you got to leave the children. If you had that foundation, that relationship with the child, you can still parent the child even after finding out this sort of information if you feel it in your heart to do so. But when it comes to the woman... Ooh, different perspective hit it on the nose. I agree. Some men, they've built such a connection, they don't want to give it up. Totally understandable. And there's some men that want to cut it off. It's not their child. Also totally understandable. We can't... <laughs> Tell the truth, if anybody was to, sh to shit on men to choose either way, it, it's, it's, it's a hard choice.
It really is. I can't blame a man to choose either way for his own life, for his own happiness. Like, he's been lied to. What, what can he do? She disrespected you through the duration of your marriage by cheating on you with multiple men and then making you raise the children that came from those incidents. Heck no, nah, he better leave her. The children and the grandchildren, now the great grandchildren. Ain't none of them his. But they ain't no kid of mine. Nope. Imagine to be at this age now and you thought you had a legacy. You thought you everything was taken care of. You thought you had your 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 your, your offsprings and your bloodline set. You had grandkids and everything. None of them are yours. None. Holy shit, guys. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> he said F him. Can you blame him? Now this man, let's say he's like me, where he wanted to build a legacy, a bloodline. He wasn't able to do that because his wife lied and had kids by other men and put them kids on him. That woo Look, I, I ain't going to say no more. Y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. You know I don't like putting these videos out there. They're devastating videos. They make me sad all the goddamn time, too. But you guys need to see this. I need to see this. We need to experience this emotion and really vet the women we pick. Please like, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.